laser, a lot, because a lot of women say, well, yeah, they like laser beam you from across the room and it's freaking creepy, dude. And so, so, okay, so here's what it is. So our mating system is in the lower reptilian brain. Okay, there's the left and the right, and then underneath there on the brain stem, uh, we'll, we'll call it the reptilian brain, okay? Uh, some people call it the reticulating activating system. I call it the caveman brain because that's the instinctual fight or flight brain where our mating system is and our, you know, our survival systems, fight and flight. So what happens is the male mating system is connected to the optic nerve, which connects to his eyes. Meaning men are sexually turned on visually. That's why we like Playboy magazine because they're images. We can see them because that is connected to our mating system and it triggers the mating system. Okay, so that's why we like visual pornos. And a lot of guys over the years are like, yeah, well, how come women don't like pornos? Like that doesn't make any sense. Like that's the hottest thing in the world. And right. yet there, there's a thing that was posted on Facebook. I'm going to say the F word here. Please forgive me. But it'll say like they don't like pornos, but they will read the fuck out of it. And that is the missing piece. The female mating system is connected to the right brain. It's communication center. Okay, so now let me do a little comparison. So the male mating system is connected to his eyes. He's visual. Now, you got to stop and go, well, why is that? Now, a lot of women get really hurt and really mad. Oh, man, that's all they care about is sex. Rah, rah, rah. Well, you got to understand why, though. Sex is the doorway to his emotions, to his heart, Literally, and I'll explain why. So, what happens? I'm going to give you two things. Let me make a note real quick. So, we got uh, mating system opens him up to his heart and the higher purpose. And we talk about the woman's higher purpose too, and why hers is why the way hers is. All right. So, okay. So, the male mating system is visual, and so. There's a, I'm going to go over the higher purpose first, and then I'm going to explain to you how it opens him up to his heart. So the higher purpose is Mother Nature or God or whatever you believe in designed his mating system to be attracted to a female whose body is physically healthy. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be tall or perfect or anything like that. We all have our different types. This, this just means healthy. In other words, are her fingernails falling off? Are her fingernails yellow? Is her is patches of hair falling off? You know, because that's she's probably got cancer. Probably not good to mate with her because the baby goes inside her womb for nine months. In other words, the baby needs a healthy body so the baby can be in a healthy environment. So when it's born, it's born hopefully a healthy, strong baby. Does that make sense, Carl? Oh yeah. All right. So now let's get to the second part, and this is going to blow uh, the ladies away. So, the male mating system is designed to go from the groin to the heart. Now, women do the opposite. They go mental connection through communication first, and then they drop down. Once this lockbox gets filled up with that level of communication, they drop down to the heart and then down to the groin. But let's start with the men first, and then we'll get back to women. So, what happens is, after men have an orgasm, after they have sex, they have an orgasm, there's a chemical, chemical called oxytocin that releases into his bloodstream. And it, for men, it does the opposite as for a woman. And here we are again. It's like the same chemical but has an opposite reaction. It relaxes him. It relaxes his muscles. It relaxes his, I could call it your skin, your, your nerves. It relaxes you. Now, more importantly, when it goes up into his lower brain and hits that reptilian brain, it controls an artery. And when it hits that artery, it relaxes the artery and the artery opens up and allows the blood to flow up into the larger human brain because blood carries oxygen and glucose or glycogen, whatever you want to call it, and it feeds the brain. Most people are operating off the lower reptilian brain all right, because they're in fight or flight. And what it does, when the artery is narrow, it shuts down the blood from here and also from your gut and it puts it in your muscles so you can run fast and strike, fight strong. That's fight or flight meaning run. So when you have the fuel in your muscles, because your muscles' number one food is oxygen and glycogen. I was getting mixed up with uh, glucose, but it's pretty much the same thing. I think it's glycogen at, the, at that when it's broken down in the Krebs cycle, if I remember right. And so now you got lots of energy, right? But when you are in a peaceful state, which is a huge part of my course, I teach men how to relax so they can open that artery, so they can first connect with her mentally for mental stimulation 
and then emotional fulfillment. And now she's happy, and now she'll connect with you sexually. Now, guys, so let me, let me finish the oxytocin. So here's what happens. So he has an orgasm. Oxytocin is released and relaxes him. It relaxes that artery, and the blood flows up into the larger human brain. And here's the key. It opens him up to his right brain, which is the emotional spiritual processor, meaning he goes from his groin to his heart. Now, it's being processed here in the right brain, but he's feeling it in his emotions, his body. Now he feels what women will use. It's a foreign phrase to men, but he's feeling emotional fulfillment. Now, here's the problem. She's not. Women cannot go from the groin, having sex, an orgasm, and open up to the heart. They are neurologically wired in the opposite direction. Women have to do it through communication. And here's why. Mother Nature's pretty damn smart. Her mating system, again, is in the lower reptilian brain. But there's a nerve that curves off to the right brain, to the right brain's communication processor. Now, ladies, I know over the years you have said to men, it's all about communication. I'm looking for a man who knows how to communicate. And now let me tell you what every man's hearing. Not right brain communication, but logical, linear, external, left brain processing communication. Now, guys, here's the problem. So let me just finish that. So what most men are hearing is, oh, I speak perfect English. I, I, I got straight A's in high school and college English classes. I'm very good at speaking. That's not what she's talking about. Do you know what I mean, Carl? Oh, yeah. Okay. She's talking about the indirect language where you say A, but you don't mean A at all. You actually mean B. And it's also a, a, a series of words. Some of we've already repeated that uh, Carl had said, like, yeah, I, I didn't understand those words, like solid, grounded, emotionally fulfilled, internal, complete, whole, complete, solid, grounded. You know, to the male brain, those are super fluff words. And, and, and as Carl had said, like, I didn't even really recognize them, to be honest with you. I noticed it now, but before it was like it went over my head, right? So these words have very powerful meaning to women. Now here's why. The female mating system is wired to the right brain on purpose because it's looking for a male who has a broader range of communication. Most men, most of the time, are very much in their left brain. They're stuck there. Rarely does a man open up to the right brain. A lot of guys are, oh, I'm a musician. I am different. I've heard this from so many people. And, okay, Carl, how many days did it take for us to get you to pop open? Was it the fifth day? Yeah, it was the fifth day. Yeah. So it was like we talked for we talked for five days for, like, I think at least three hours a day. Well, I think with you, because we, we were only doing one session a day, right? That's right. Yeah. So it was the 10th day. Three uh, hours a session. Well, no, it wasn't the 10th day. It was about the 6th or 7th, wasn't it? No, I'm pretty sure it was the 5th. I, I, I wrote think it on was? my calendar. That's pretty fast. Yeah. Okay. So he had opened up to his right brain. Do you want to give him an idea of what happened? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know how to explain what happened. What I told you was that I, I had this sensation in my body where I was... I just felt really good to be in my body. And I'm a guy who, you know, I have a tendency to think a lot and to be in my head. And when I had this feeling, I just, I didn't want to think at all. I just wanted to, mm -hmm. to feel this feeling. I yes. was just feeling good. And when I went outside, it, it, I mean, yeah, it sounds weird, but people were looking at me like kids were staring at me. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was you, people reacted to me differently it was it was super it was a crazy experience and here's what it is it's called internal awareness being internally grounded now when when you're male and external that's called push energy you're literally pushing people away so if you're looking over there let's say you're in a club or wherever coffee shop or doesn't matter and you're looking over there in that linear way right she's going to look yeah. at you and and then because you're looking there it's going to draw her eyesight over that way and right. thus, she's not drawn to you. But when you're internally aware, so instead of being out there, you, you invert that or revert that, and you put your awareness inside your body. That's why I call it internal awareness. So when someone looked at you when you were like that, Carl, what happened? Their, their 
drawn to you. Yeah, did they look away or did they stay looking at you? No, they, they looked at me, like, to the point sometimes where I'm like, do I have something on my face? Yeah, exactly. And you feel like, in the beginning, like, why, why are people staring at me? It's kind of weird, huh? Yes, it was super weird. <laughs> yeah, and all it is is people, they look at each other unconsciously. And wherever your awareness is, that's where they...